everyone. Welcome to Bob's Vape Reviews here in Manila, Philippines. I'd like to wish everyone a good day, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you happen to be. Today we're going to go a little bit off track what we normally do with our vape mods. Uh, due to the recent popularity and the recent increase of people looking for cart devices, because carts have become so popular now, especially in America, where everything has become legalized, uh, carts have made a comeback. And the videos that I have seen on YouTube have been absolutely horrendous. So today, I'm going to do a couple reviews on carts, on the pen-type vape devices, okay? Now, I'm only going to be doing variable voltage ones, and this happens to be a very a nice one. It's called the Brass Knuckles, okay? Now, you could pick these up for around $20 US or 500 peso in the Philippines. It's called the Brass Knuckles. It's a decent looking device. So let's get to the opening and get down to the breakdown of the unit itself. Okay, so let's get going. Now, you have to be careful with these. They do have clones. What is a clone? A clone is a copy. It's not the original. And the original one comes in a box like this. And it has a lot of writing on the side. You know, on and off, five clicks. Adjustable voltage, three clicks. Four hour charging time. Use only the charger that is provided, which does have surge protection. And it has a 510 it takes 510 carts. 510 is the size that all of us are familiar with in the vape world. Uh, other people may not be familiar with it. It is the size of the end of the cart that screws into the, the pen type itself. Okay. And now one thing, on the box itself, you can see there is brass knuckles on the box. It's one way of telling that it's legit. The other side has a website, brass knuckles. The end caps, brass knuckles, brass knuckles. Very nice box, very nice display. Hang on to it, it's a nice box to store it in. Box is nice. Now if you get this in the mail, if you do order one and it's super cheap, I guarantee it's a clone. If it comes in just a plastic bag, it's a clone for sure. It should come in this type of packaging. Okay, so let's take the device out. There's your charger which does have an LED indicator. It does have surge protection. It has a little brass knuckle on there. Nice, I like that. It screws into there, and then this goes into your charger. The device itself, very light, very light. We've got, I don't know if you can see it, a brass knuckle on the fire button. We have brass knuckles on the tube. We got a brass knuckle on the bottom. Nice. We got a website address on the other side of the tube. And we have your 510 connector. Very nice. It is cute. It's very light. We'll take some weights and measurements. It has a 900 mAh battery. Well, Bob, that's a small battery. Well, you guys have to remember the cartridges that you're going to screw onto this normally ohm out at 1.5 to 1.8 so it's more than enough power for such a small itty bitty coil you turn it on and off you get five clicks one two three four five she blinks and she's alive one two three four five it shuts off one two three adjust the voltage one two three adjust the voltage can't you can't see the light oh I turned it off one two three four five it's on okay one two three there we have a green we have a red we have a blue well it should be a blue one two three there is the blue okay what does that mean the blue is 3.2 volts the green is 3.7 volts. The red is 4.1. Now the sweet spot for carts really is the 3.7, the green. 
It does have preheat, which is nice. It preheats the coil before you take a hit. So that way you get a full hit. You don't have to wait for the coil to ramp up in temperature. To get preheat, two clicks. And when the light goes out, the coil is preheated. It turns colors as it's preheating. It turns to a blue. And there we go. It's been preheated. Okay. Very nice. Those are very nice options to have on this. Very nice. The charger does have a light. Right there, LED light lights up. Now when you plug this into the charger, the light on the mod will come on and the light on the charger will come on. Red in red, meaning it's low. It's going to charge and then you're gonna see the light go off on this. But the light does not turn green on this. It stays red until you unplug it from the source. Once you unplug it, then you'll see the light turn green. I don't know why it's like that, but that's the way it is. Okay, just to let you guys know, because I've, I've read about people having problems with charging and not understanding. But that's how it happened with this unit right here. This unit came from, we are good old boys at Puffin Stuff. Please make sure you check out my sponsor, Puffin Stuff. Now these do come in gold, silver, or a fake wood. And make sure you charge it before you use her. Please charge before you use her. And do not keep it plugged in overnight, just as a safety precaution. Yes, it does have surge protection, but just as a safety precaution, don't leave it unattended and don't leave it plugged in overnight. Now let's take get some weights and measurements here. Let me get this out. She is approximately 93 millimeters long. She's very narrow, like a pen, just like the name says, pen type. 14 millimeters wide, okay? And when I said she's light, she's light. Let's bust out the scale. Come on, power on, there we go. 23 grams. <laughs> you don't even know it's in your pocket. You have change in your pocket that weighs more than this. Metal. All metal. Very nice. Put the scale away. Now I've seen a couple of people wondering about cleaning. Nah, oh, Bob, how do I clean this? It's very easy to clean. And there's only one part really to be cleaned, and that's the 510. You'll get juice sometimes in there. What do I like to use? This right here. IPA 99.9. .9. Tech grade. You can pick this up at any chemical supply house in your city. Every city has a chemical supply house. You pick it up. What else do you use? A Q-tip. In America, a Q-tip. In the Philippines, a cotton bud. You want to take your alcohol. Be very careful with this 99.9 .9 stuff, okay? Don't be smoking around it. Or poof, you'll go. Hold on, you guys. I'm having a problem getting the cap off. I got it sealed. Take the bottle. Take your Q-tip. Tilt the bottle a little bit. Get the Q-tip wet like so. Once you have the Q-tip wet like that, you go into the 510, and you go around in a circle and clean the threads and clean your contact. Just go, go like that. Well, Bob, why do you use the 99.9? .9? because it evaporates extremely fast. Be very careful and make sure you put the cap back on your alcohol or it will all evaporate very quickly. Okay, so try to use your highest percentage of alcohol when you do clean hair, okay? Otherwise, it's not bad. To me, it has a little bit of a cheap feel to it. But it does, it works great. I love the LED lights to come on here. There's a lot of bright light in here, so it's hard to see the, the different color lights that it does have. But it is nice, and I do like the couple features that it has. So my pros on this unit is going to be the price, first off. Second will be the features and the looks. The looks are nice. It does look very nice. 
I like the brass knuckles engrave on it. Nice. It is etched into the body, so it's not going to be coming off. How long will this gold stay on the body? I don't know. I'm not going to say me. It seems like it's pretty well done, the plating. But we shall see through the use. But I give this a Bob score of six. The only cons I have is it kind of feels a little cheap and the charging. But it's very small. Very small and very light. And it's very nice. The 900 mAh battery, it'll give you plenty, plenty, plenty of vaping time. Especially with these carts that we're using now. So, with that being said, I think we've pretty much said it all for this. It's a nice unit. I'd like to give a shout out to everybody at Puffin Stuff. Remember, they got safe, secure shipping. You could find them on Facebook or their website. They're the best place in the Philippines to buy these type of vape pens and accessories. It's a great head shop. They have great selection of t-shirts. Really nice place. Go take a look at their website, their Facebook page, and please give them a like. All right, y'all? So shout out to Puff and Stuff. Shout out to Boss Tony, Langer, uh, Mike, and Leite. And remember, these guys got safe, secure shipping, so there's no problem in getting this. I hope you found this little, short, little review informative and helpful. Please be safe, you guys, and take care. Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate all the love I get from everybody. And I'll be doing another review on another pen type right after this one. So, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.